No pompous coffee. Start the day. No lovely big barn or studio. This is how a day's paradigm starts. Waking up in the middle of the field with a nosebleed. <laughs> guys it's now Sunday I've done this recording slightly late I was supposed to have done it tomorrow uh, yesterday yesterday morning and we're here at the moment at 100 house at the viewpoint right above the campsite and yesterday on Saturday um, was the first BCC around for me this year I did take part in 2019. I managed to pick up a small medal for a personal best that time. And then yesterday, I also managed to get myself another personal best by smashing my previous personal best twice over. Um, so what you're gonna see in the next few clips and the rest of the video is there's no walk up the hill. It's pretty much straight from when I actually launch off the site which is that hill over there just around the corner we had a northwesterly most of the time after midday but I'll let the rest of the video talk for itself hope you enjoy never been so nervous flying. I think it's the company I keep. <laughs> Alright, let's push out. I can always come back. Love 
sein. Das ist aber doch mehr mal rum. Let's go. Ich habe einfach nur für Sorgen. So, up to a thousand feet. And within 1k. We can only thermal to the right. Safety reasons. Which doesn't help if we find something on the left. We pass through it. <laughs> Right, get back to you when we've got somewhere further. Oh, second good climb, still not left the hill. Oh. And it is feisty. But I want to get a decent height before I go back. It's in the middle of that fuck nowhere. The early birds have already left the hill. Still scratching out front. Can't blame them. Not easy. Downwind of us. Dragon hike with my on. So we might be bumping into others. Take this to the top. There's a the campsite. 100 house. A lovely place to be flying. God, my thermling is somewhat to be desired. Just trying to alter my circuit. There we go. No. Oh yeah, I got it. Once we're cloud base, we're gonna go on glide to the next cloud, which is over there. Okay, get quite busy down there. Still people on the ground waiting for their set. What I would advise when you're playing around in gaggles like this is fly your own flight. The difficulty is when you've got lots of people in the air, it's finding that bit of space to yourself. But as soon as you find something, try and stick with it. So I've actually flown here before in 2019. Been my first year of flying. I was on a BGD Epic. And I came along for the BCC rounds. My first taste of cross country. And as soon as we're allowed, here I am for another go. Right, with this lift, I think I'm going to start heading downwind. Close to cloud base. Let's get on glide. It's getting a bit feisty as well. This is the sink, the other side of that thermal. Oh yeah, five down. Let's say feisty. Slow it down in the lift. Speed it up in the sink. I'm actually going to take this one. Hopefully it's one of those days where once you're up, it's easy to stay up. Even if there is those nasty bits of sink in between. Come on, where's that lift? Oh, I'm losing too much height. This can be it. Alright, I'm well away from the launch so I can circle in a direction that I'm more comfortable with. Which is left. No idea why, I think everyone has a natural side that they're stronger at, more comfortable. Alright, it was scratching, scratching, scratching. Wasn't finding anything. So, 
I'm about to do a dash. I can see some clouds downwind of me. So unless I find anything substantial between now and then. Keep my vary around the zero to one. Otherwise I'm on speed bar to get out of the sink. Currently 3,500 feet. Ooh. Is that worth it? Oh, I just lost out. Stick with the plan. Downwind. So I need to get this climb so I can move on to what's triggering the one beyond. So I've got that one and then the next one down. They're unlikely to be there by the time I get there, but I don't have anything else because the right hand side of that first cloud is actually diminishing. So I'd be lucky to find anything. Oof. down there, desperately scratching. I reckon if he gets the other side of that little village, I might be lucky. Right, I'm near cloud base. I'm being very aware of how the cloud could end up forming around me. So I'm gonna leave this one, head downwind. Expecting a very bumpy exit. So decision making time of, of the direction. I'm using three and a half thousand as my point of making sure I get the next lift. Till then, I'm go straight line. Not far off, having to catch the next bit. What I'm going to do, my decision making, is I'm going to stick to following the river. In theory, along every river, there should be a road. Along every road, there should be a village. So if I keep on going in that direction, not only will I get past where I landed last time, but it should be able to be with an easy reach for a retrieve. That's a theory anyway. Hay on Y ahead of me, over there. So I landed down there last time. I remember finding a nice big field with a couple of trees in it. And a two minute walk to a pub, which made waiting a lot nicer. Even if I landed there right now, I'd be happy. Just see what happens. Now I've just got to find myself another bit of lift. Better than nothing. One thing I've always been learning is if you find lift and you need it, don't leave it. This is an alright one, this. This will do. Take what I can get. Even if it is rough as boots. It's amazing how positions can change. So before I started in that thermal, the guy down there on the ozone was above me. A couple of turns I was above him, he pushed on. Now he's down there, and we'll end up swapping over it a bit. So last time, just over there, you see the river going round as it goes forward and then out to the left. You can see a little triangular field with two trees in the middle. That's where I landed last time. And then just the same side, this side of it, there was a lovely pub that I managed to get to. So, hopefully I can get further than that. Alright, well, I think it's official, I have beat the last BCC round that I've done. But 
how long I can continue with Ecno. I'm not a big XC fiend. It's usually the retrieve is the issue that stops me from doing it. But we've got a team of people. So, sadly, the battery on the GoPro died. And me stupidly forgot to take any extras with me. I left all my spare batteries in the van at the campsite. But I continued to fly on and eventually, I don't want to say gave up, but I started getting to the point where I was looking at ideal places to land, populated towns. Um, I was getting a bit tired mentally and physically, um, but I also had to consider retrieval. Um, I, I didn't want to put anyone out by having to pick me up from absolutely miles away. Uh, I ended up deciding to land in a the rugby field at ross on Wye. The flight itself is about 60k. And I have to say thank you, I can't recall his name. Um, a guy in a BMW ended up giving me and two others a lift back to the campsite after the day's flying. Without that, it would have been a 15-hour hike, according to Google Maps. I didn't fancy that. Um, so yeah, all in all, really, really successful day. Great fun. Challenging. To be honest, a bit scary every now and then. Some of those uh, thermals are really, really punchy. Um, but definitely be doing it again. If any of you guys are thinking that you want to be extending your flights going further cross country, I really couldn't recommend doing the BCC round enough. Get yourself a team put together, back each other up with retrievals, any advice that you can give out, and you will, I guarantee, enjoy yourself no matter how far you go. So hopefully I'll catch you guys next time. Keep flying.